have somebody here from the Department of Health? Yes, sir. Bob. <coughs> I, I, my, understand, I, I, my understanding was is Department of Health is the one that's doing the testing on the going into the river. And that's <coughs> so my, but that's a, E. coli is the first time that I recall hearing you know, about E. coli. Is that? Uh, we are testing. Uh, DEP does more of the tests than the Department of Health does. We typically uh, send staff over to collect on Fridays, Saturdays after a spill has occurred on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then uh, DEP lab uh, runs those for us. And they're running E. coli and uh, the fecal coliform, which used to be the standard. Now the, the new standard is E. coli. And so uh, in December we had uh, levels that were uh, about uh, five times the E. coli standard. The E. coli standard is 420 in, uh, in surface water, in class three recreational water. And uh, they were running 2,000, 3,000 E. coli. So we issued uh, the public health advisory that you see come out of uh, Madison <coughs> occasionally in the Swanee County. So those public health advisories are the caution Is, is this happening only during the time of, of these spills, or are, are we seeing these high coli? Well, the Department of Health doesn't sample the river often, uh, only during the spill. The DEP does routinely sample the, uh, the river, and uh, the other organizations do. We, we've had support from the community here who uh, actually pay for the sample. So our management district is paid for
issues in general that spoke for you in Hamilton County. He was talking about groundwater issues. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm How many areas are we talking about? Hamilton County is. I'd like to know his well over the long term with the readings of Ken in his neighborhood. And how many people are we talking about? Well, Me you're it's familiar with your geology, yeah. it's karst, it's all sure. limestone underneath the river, and so where the wells are, within a few hundred feet of the river, the, the water flows out, and it's a flood stage, it flows out more than the river, and these wells pick up. And when there's a spill, so it's certainly possible that can go out through that karst, and those channels are not going to fill the bacteria out. Uh, we have done that. <coughs> because I haven't had the water test it because I have a system that handles it. What, what kind of time period are we talking about? I'm sorry, sir? What, what kind of time period are we talking about? I'm, I moved here three years ago, and, and I had the well tested, and the E. coli was high. Okay? And, and so they said to me... What was your level? Oh, I, I have, it, the health department has that. For, for, um, for my well. For puddle water? No, I just wondered what, no, I wonder what it was in his well. One is all... They're looking at the pres presence and absence. One E. coli would, would say it's a bad sample for potable. So that, they don't count the, the, the number of the, the drinking water samples. So there is no level of safety for that. Correct. For positive. That's right. One is too many. No, but the zoom would also have been in the county in the place of their field river. Yeah. They obviously have some figures. What are they? I don't know about Jasper. That seems to be. How far are they from the river? Do you have any? There's been numerous contacts according to Josh Smith, who's our county commissioner, the chairman of the county commission here in Hamilton County, and um, and he says it's been it's just been deaf ears. It's been and he said it's been going on for 15 years. Because I've been here, I've been on the county commission for I think it's over 10 years. Nine years. 
nine years and says, I, we've done everything we can, it's just falling on deaf ears, which makes no sense to me at all. Not when you're having major health issues. We, we had people at our congressional hearing <coughs> that spoke that had E. coli. Actually presented themselves as, I've gotten E. coli from my well. Okay, so I mean, there were others at our congressional hearing there in Jasper. And I know they got an ear fill over in Madison too. So it's, it's not just a Hamilton County issue. You know what gets me is when the, you'll have a release and I'm seeing kids down there at Blue Springs State Park, and they're not being advised. The state park's not closed. It, it sort of blows my mind a little bit. You know, I'm, are you serious? I mean, there, there seems to be such a communication breakdown of all of this. You know, but I'm hoping this session here, you know, because I'm a pit bull, okay? I'm not going to let, I was 30 years Army. I'm not going to let this go, okay? This, this is totally unacceptable. When someone's asking on this board, what is the, what, how bad is it? That's unacceptable to me. You guys need to know how bad it is. You're representing us. You're, you're the party that protects us from this kind of situation. And I'm, I'm sorry to do that, but I mean, that's how it was, at least when I served the Army. You know, I, I had responsibility to fix it. So anyways, I would hope that you guys do the same. Can I add one thing? It's just not E. coli, y'all. We've got other problems in that river that y'all don't even realize. We've got a, her brother is in Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa. And when they treated him for a bone marrow transplant, guess what popped up? A waterborne fecal home virus that was destroying his memory. And they said, straight out of the river, or straight out of his well. His, his wife has sores in her mouth all the time that she drinks the water in her house, okay? Her well water. She goes down to Tampa to spend time with him because he's in the hospital down there, it has been for two months. The sores go away. You know, they're, 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 this river is the most dangerous thing in this county, okay? We're killing people. Sir, so you, you're representing the Department of Health. Could you reach out to the Department of Health in Hamilton County? And please, and then once you do that, when you get back with us, and let us know. Thank you. I was just asking the, uh, Madam Chairman if she would to ask our staff to get up to speed on all of these complaints and issues and ask, I would ask that we have a workshop that fills us in on what this is. I, there's some of this is beyond our scope, but I, I think we need to have a say, I'll say, in the responsibility of trying to, to figure out exactly what we're dealing with and what's the best avenues to the state or whoever it is that we put can put our stamp on wherever we need to go with this. So I will ask you. The gentleman from Hamilton County, what was your name again, sir? Arthur McMillan. And yours too? Jim McBrayer. The guy next yeah, to you. Yeah, right next door. Jim. My good neighbor. Uh, <laughs> Jim McBrayer. Jim McNair? McBrayer. It's, it's on her slip. She has both our names. The chairman does. This is the first I've heard of it. And I'm assuming this is the first our board, and that bothers me too. May I, say I appreciate about? you for being here. Sure. I, I was a well driller for 25 years, okay? I've seen influx of rivers as far as five miles from the river where we drill the well. So you're talking about a 10 mile swath, both sides of that, I mean, down that river, and everybody that lives in there is a danger. And, and, the, and the sad thing is, most people don't even know they're in danger. Most, when I mention this to people in my neighborhood, they say, what? And I said, yeah. a water treatment system. My brother is the one that's got the, treat, the, the disease with cancer from water. And I'm sorry for that. Yeah. We, we're going to stay on this, and we want the Department of Health to get with you. He's God already given us a card. And if that continues to fall on deaf ears, we want to know about it. And my neighbor up the road's got E. coli in the water. They're close to the river. I mean, this is a major problem. And, I, you know, it, everybody just acts like, it, well, let's just sweep it under the rug. It'll go away. I, I like about off the sign up there. I see any without limits. I wish they'd limit their sewage. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. It's in the 
talk with her whole um Madam Chair, could the heat just address the issue of expanded retention ponds? I'd just be curious if, if the representative of Valdosta could talk about that. Because it, it seems to be a reasonable, quick solution. Would that be possible? Certainly. I, I think you spoke about some retention ponds further down and a new one that they're uh, trying to pick up. The problem is they're waiting on permits from the state mm -hmm. to be able to start construction on that. If, if you'd like this to be a very gap to that item, please, sir. Sure. Uh, the retention on site in the Argo 